it's time to tell you about some of the shenanigans I've been up to. The world is so depending on how well you know me, and what you were raised with, this will either be eh, it will be that's stupid, or it will be that's evil stuff you're opening yourself up to, Kate. You gotta pray and get back to Jesus or you're gonna go to hell. Uh, Can I get an amen? No. <laughs> Look at the way those trees are just lit up. It's so beautiful. And those clouds are so dramatic. <sighs> was that was that too much? Should, should, I, should I pull back the energy a little? I've, I've, I've mentioned before that when I'm a little nervous, I overcompensate in the weirdness department. It's neat. It's neat to have the world transformed. Yeah, and you're happy because you got a nap. I'm so glad I got that moment before it passed because, yeah, the trees aren't lit up anymore. Ah, it was so magical. Stay on. Also, this baby is almost a year old. He's almost a year old. How far back do I go? Like, okay, so one of the things is, I don't know if you remember, but back when I was still doing podcasts on this channel and before I moved it over to the Epic Kate podcast channel, I talked to a guy named John Davis and he is so fascinating and he actually had past life memories. He had a past life regression and he was like there remember having memories of being John, the, the, the beloved disciple. What he does is he kind of just gets, he just kind of connects with God and gets just kind of messages for people based on where they're at and what their challenges are. And yeah. I've had tarot readings that have been really, really meaningful. Like I didn't really know anything about it. And it's not this, there's just so much of this stuff that's considered to be in this aesthetic and it's all supposed to be creepy and evil. But when it's about actually helping you face your own inner problems and love yourself and heal and grow, it's like, <laughs> so I was always told, look at the fruit of things and you'll see the, you'll see the truth of it and I see so much more I see so much more fruit of goodness of the fruit the, the things that I was taught of the fruit of the spirit love joy peace patience kindness self-control I feel like you're mocking me I feel you're like blah 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 am I am I boring you I see so much more of that in the world of the woo-woo than I did a lot of other years growing up. But I'm not poo-pooing on the entire way I was grown up because I know there was a lot of good and a lot of it is what has made me who I am now and it's not like they stand in direct opposition to each other. John, 
Davis loves Jesus, he just doesn't follow this. He doesn't follow Jesus. He follows Yeshua. And he doesn't follow evangelical Christianity. He follows what he knows, what he has seen, what he has experienced. He, he's, he's following that Yeshua. And I'm much more interested in that, honestly. So, <laughs> yeah, it's not like all people who are readers who are doing this have completely abandoned any and all forms of faith. It's just evolved. It's just deepened and become more meaningful and become more about serving and lifting other people up. So the other thing is I've become a bit of a hoarder. I really love crystals and shiny rocks and pretty things and, and, and leaves and sticks and I collect them like a little crow, like a little goblin and I put them on shelves and I, and candles and yeah, it's been fun. I scour the, um, there's like an app called Tradera, and if I can find them cheap enough, then I will snatch them up. And it's so fun to get packages with pretty rocks inside. And I have looked up what different rocks and crystals symbolize and what they could mean spiritually. But it's honestly too much to remember, so I just like go with... This one's pretty. I feel like holding this one right now and it's kind of a stimming thing, just feeling the softness and just being quiet with it. So my kids said, Mom, put this on. And when you do, your name will be Francois. So is my name Francois wearing this hat? Let me know. Go ahead. My name is Francois. What's there was also I took a chakra class with another lady who was also in Covenant Players at the same time we were um, Raya she's awesome and. She's really just come into her gifts and is like doing Reiki and and she in like reading people's chakras and it was a really really special thing connecting with other people about it and like okay if this chakra is is this root chakra is, is out of sync it means you need to do more grounding be more speak more truth to yourself that you are loved you are safe you are secure uh, stuff like that and I never finished the class because life got really busy during the summer so I, I still have a bunch of videos and stuff that I eventually need to do to, get to actually do that. I had Raya on my podcast as well and it was really cool to hearing about her spiritual journey of just like getting over the fears that she had of wait is this actually evil but really recognizing no she had these innate gifts that she was pushing down. She had all this fear and and self-loathing that 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 version of Christianity was constantly but burdening her under. And she is so much more free now doing what she's meant to do in, in helping people. I've been reading this book called Autobiography of a Yoga by Yogananta Paramhansa. Did I say it right? Um, that's been really cool. It's been so cool to completely step out of the Western religion box and to just like experience what the, 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 these mystical men of, of, of India and Hinduism did and the miracles that they did and and to see just how much there is in common with with so much of what 
they talked about and what Jesus talked about. There is some speculation that Jesus did go to the East in his early years before he started his ministry. So, we don't know. We don't know Jack Diddley Squat. These are ancient books. Ancient books for ancient times. Doodly doodly dot. Oh, not the nose. I hate it when you stick your fingers in my nose. It is not fun. Wee <sighs> me another thing that I'm I'm hoping to do is join a there's an English speaking or English led yoga class thing that's starting in February and I'm really hoping to get the funds together for that it's like 99 bucks um, for like I don't know I don't remember how many weeks it was seven or eight weeks I just can't wait for life to get better I just can't wait to have a little bit more time when Stenlon is at daycare. <clears throat> to have a little bit more time to have my house in stupid order. Just to not constantly feel like I'm drowning in garbage. It's all a lot. Next day, Katie here. For some context, I could not find my phone or my microphone, which is why the quality is not great and why I'm just, just part of the reason why I was feeling a little broken. And yeah, I decided I'll leave this up. We feel broken sometimes, that's okay. I don't feel quite as broken today. Eh, eh, eh. Anyway, back to that. My seven-year-olds are a lot. My baby's lack of sleep sometimes is a lot. Wharton's tired when he comes home from work. He's overwhelmed. I'm so thankful for when I have time to do these videos for me. And I'm like, Phew. What do I have to lose now by talking about some of the weird stuff that I'm into? Funny thing is, I haven't even really talked to him about it. Just like in thought experiments. But I haven't said, hey, Morton, guess what? I've had some tarot readings. So I never know if he's actually going to watch my videos. So if he is, hey, Morton, guess what? But the cool thing is, I know that no matter what, he won't judge me. He maybe will think it's dumb. But he won't judge me as a person because he trusts me and he loves me. And no matter what, he wants me to be happy. And it's heavy. Life is heavy and I need wonder and I'm excited to have new things to explore. Ghosts, past lives, readings chakras it's all interesting it's all all these things are towards personal growth all these things are towards creating your destiny creating your reality your thoughts shaping your actions shaping your results it's about rewiring the brain to be a better person to not think i am just this way and i'm always going to be this way and anybody else is just going to have to deal with it like It's, there's a comfort, there's some, there's a, it's a, it is comforting. It is cool to think that there is a higher self, a better version of me, a future version of me that's already there, that's cheering me on. It's, it's cool to think of family members who've gone on ahead, still caring about us and still interacting with us now. Which reminds me, I had a ghost experience. It's true. I was in my kitchen and there's a, I was down on my knees just sorting out pots and pans and above me, where I could not have bumped it, you know, I was down there. 
the light turned on. The light above the sink just turned on. And it's like when something, you know, when something kind of takes a minute to power up. It was just like in that in-between state for so long of just like not full power yet. It was so cool. So I'm excited. I'm excited for magic in my life. <laughs> I feel like a kid in a candy store. And as far as it goes for disappointing people out there, like, <clears throat> um, they can just go on ignoring me, I guess. If if that's if that's their their way of dealing with being disappointed in me is to not acknowledge that I exist except for Christmases and birthdays, then. That's fine. I'm disappointed in them too. So that's me. But I'll talk more about this stuff later. Thanks for watching. Hugs. <laughs> Bub, 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 bub.